Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I'm still on my quest searching for the inserts from 1991 Donruss, the Donruss Elite inserts, or the, the, the Living Legends ones. Um, so I'm ripping through packs of 1991 Donruss. This is Series 2. Looking for one of those Ryan Sandberg autographs or one of those Nolan Ryan Living Legends or any of those 10,000 Elite cards that were inserted here. I've never seen one in person, never held it in my hand, and I've opened a lot of packs of 91 Donruss, so um, I think the odds are somewhere around 1 per 75 of these boxes here. And I've not opened up 75 boxes, so this could be the one. Let's find out. But in the meantime, there's a nice Mo Vaughn rated rookie. In the meantime, I'll settle for any of my favorite players or any superstars. A lot of subsets in this pack. We just looked at highlights, World Series, MVPs, All-Stars, rated rookie, but nothing I was really interested in. I think this is a box that has been exposed to heat a little bit because we got a lot of wax pack stickage on the back. Dr. Dirt and Mr. Clean. I love this card. Dale Murphy and Lenny Dykstra. Such a random uh, card to put in here, but just uh, one of those memorable cards that meets the moment. Atlee Hammaker. What happened to that guy? I mean, we'll have to find out. All right, two packs in and not one keeper. Doesn't bode well for finding a really rare insert cards and you can't even find one uh, keeper card in there. But we'll keep opening and see what we can find. Good news is with these 91 Donruss, at least they had the forethought or maybe with an accidental um, fortune that they put the puzzle cards as the last card in every pack. Oh, there's Barry Bonds. That's something for you, at least. And so the one that got, was got waxed on it was the puzzle card instead of a player card. So, that's, so you got that going for you. That's pretty good. See what I mean? Stick into it. I'll leave it on there. There's Kirby Puckett. The late, great Kirby Puckett. There's Mr. Clean right there for you. Nice portrait of him, smiling away. Tim Raines, successful fielder. There's Orion Sandberg. There we go. It's an all-star card. His seventh all-star appearance. So that'll go in my personal collection. Thank you, Rido. Sandy Elmore, this is a good, Mike Scott, this is a good pack. Frank Thomas, that's a good one. I guess that counts as his rookie card. Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer. Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer. All right, so this pack really juiced it up. And with Rick Sutcliffe, also a great player. All right, now that we're cruising, now that we're rolling, Let's see what we can find in here. And these, this, these elite inserts, really, a lot of people credit them with causing the uh, hobby to set on fire with insert mania. There's Ricky, Ricky Henderson, MVP. And change the face of modern hobby collecting on the whole, where we went insert crazy for everything. So, for better or worse, that's what happened with this Donruss set here. Without that, it's a pretty unremarkable set, this 1991 set, by most people's accounts. Now it was very present in my original early collecting days, so I have a certain fondness for it. Here's Dave Justice, MVP. Let's 
but with three million of every card made, it's very ubiquitous. And pretty junky. Look, we have one yellow one. Isn't that funny? All these are, see all the stripes here. Red and blue, red and blue, and then one yellow. Barry Bonds, MVP. Award winner card. Ricky Henderson, AL MVP. Award winner card. Just beating out Cecil Fielder that year. Alright, so nice little stack of stars there. Plus a Ryan Sanford All-Star. And the insert coming out of this pack. Here it is, Elite. Uh, okay, maybe not. Daryl Strawberry, MVP. Willie McGee was the batting champ today. That's it. I forgot about that. Hit 335. Wait, is that right? Skinny guy, look at him. But you don't have to be big to hit for average. Cam Daly. Clearly, he's with the Blue Jays, but on the Cardinals uniform. Interesting. Anyway, there you have it. No elite card coming out of this one, but Ryan Zamber, some stars, and Atley Hammaker. I'm going to find out what happened to him. From Knoxville, Tennessee. His real name is Charlton. So there you go. Picture for the Padres. Let's see. Alter. There he is. Clear for the Giants, Royals, Padres, and White Sox. Twelve year career. Fifty nine wins. From eighty one to ninety five. Fifty nine to sixty seven. 366 ERA and 615 strikeouts. Nothing to write home about, but was an all-star in 83. Led the National League in ERA in 83. And in the San Francisco Giants. Wall of Fame. Not the Hall of Fame. The Wall of Fame. In California. Had a full basketball scholarship to East Tennessee State. Look at that. So an athlete all around, apparently. Had a 225 ERA in 83. All-star game. God squad. For a strong Christian face. Bible studies in their hotel rooms while on the road. Huh. Well, keeps him out of trouble, so good for him. Lived in Knoxville, Tennessee with his wife. His five daughters and his son-in-law, Keon Gomez, is a major league ball player. And his other son-in-law is a minor league ball player. So, even though he didn't have any sons in the majors, didn't have any sons at all, still kind of turned into a baseball family. It's funny how that works. So there you go. I wonder what you're up to, Atlee, but I hope you're staying clean and good for you for pitching so long in the majors and having some success and the rest of you see you next time